Hello guys and welcome to Hi sir, how is the condition? We are Taste check In this video I'm going to show you my trip to Denmark The behind the scenes, the PVA, the EWT where I will be competing in Klitmol so basically in order for us to make it to Denmark we first had to fly to Madrid and from Madrid to Billund but there is just this one little problem right now I'm at the airport of Madrid and it's two o'clock in the morning I arrived here at 10 o'clock and the flight to Billund is at 6 30 in the morning which means it will be a very long night Once we arrived in Billund, we had to drive for 2 hours and 15 minutes to start my first session in Hansdorf. We are searching for our friends Manon and Ingmar because we are going to sail together and we are also going to stay with them at home. So we just arrived in Hanstholm. This is the spot where the competition will probably happen. This is my first time in Denmark. It is very, very cold. I hope I have a lot of fun. I am here with my mate Malon. Hi guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going for a session. You will see some clips. My father will film a little bit. See you later. the fade cause I'm not one so smoke some drink some pop one 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 Hey guys, what's up? Today we have another foot video <laughs> and today we will try out the double Oreo. Mmm, <laughs> creamy. Mm. <laughs> and... Action. Action. Week? Nah. You don't say for the first week, right? <laughs> you say... And, and for like... Um, 
four days <coughs> full action. Let's go. Hello guys. The first days to the forecast from the first days. <laughs> to the forecast of the first days. We react. Um, don't yeah. say react. We just. Yes, no, no. You have to roll the it's camera, crazy. bro. Like, not you every think time YouTube on, on. is so easy? Yeah, but it's difficult. All right, all right, it's so, so difficult. Because this was good. <laughs> yeah. Hello, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, <laughs> it's 8 o'clock in Denmark. I'm here with my friend Marlon and Tobias and we are having a look at the forecast for the first days of competition. The first day is gonna be epic. I think Saturday is gonna be up, cost up to 51 knots. We're gonna have Sunday as well as cost up to 45 knots. As well as the Monday and Tuesday, we're gonna have cost up to 40 knots nearly. And the waves will be absolutely epic as well. Yeah, the waves are, will be pumping um, on Saturday. We will have like nearly 60, 6 meter waves and 12 seconds. So there will be big waves. And in Denmark, there is normally on the outside even bigger waves. So I think we will have like on the outside 7 meters wide water rollers. And yeah, and Sunday even also uh, 5 meter waves. Um, and Monday on Tuesday, we have like, yeah, nice three meter waves. Yeah, and to not forget about the seconds, right? 12 seconds is a lot. <laughs> this means the waves will be bigger than Marlon and Tobias and me, like <laughs> one over the other. Yes, basically. Thank you for the competition. Good luck, everybody competing. <laughs> yeah. It's epic, no? So for me to be able to compete here in Denmark, I actually skipped school, which means I have to keep on studying from here, which isn't really fun, but it's not that bad. So yeah, it's acceptable. Honestly, all the storm chains of the past, this now, it's beating it all. <laughs> I never sailed in that kind of wind before in my life. Normally I, th I thought, oh, no wind can stop me. But yeah, basically I got to the point where I was like, I can't do it anymore. It was just so strong. You feel all the energy around you. The wind, obviously, you hear the sound. I'm here in Klitmöller. The storm and the competition starts tomorrow. As you can see behind me, this is the calm before the storm. We just did the inscriptions. As you can see behind me, there's the before and the after. I'm flying away. There's like 45 knots. There's no way we would surf in these conditions. Check this. So day one wasn't really meant for windsurfing, but the judges didn't want to waste these epic conditions. So they decided to start the competition with the under 20 boys and the Danish Open. And the 17 are released for the day, but I'm still going for a quick sessions in these crazy conditions. Wish me luck. 
I already finished my session. Unfortunately, there's no clips, but I can tell it was way harder than I thought. There was around 50 knots and there was waves coming. They were like four meters high. It was really, really hot and very gusty. But I have to say, I had some fun. I don't know maybe what the truth of that one is. I did hear the categories might be changing. Here we go down the bottom end. Carlos Kiefer's not finished. He wants another one. He wants a better one. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what we're dealing with. 16 years old. I'm here in Hanstone. I finished the single elimination. I ended up first. Now I'm getting ready for the double elimination. I'm sailing against Leon Mesne which will be very, very tricky, the conditions as well. Let's see, wish me a lot of luck. Okay, we are here with Simon. Uh, any words, how is the condition? Yeah, the conditions are very, very good. I'm a little bit sad that the men is not gonna compete. How far have you come in the Danish Open? I'm fifth right now. Fifth? Yo, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's no, that's not good. I mean, I should be number one. We're gonna get that. Of course. We're gonna get that. It depends if we're gonna sail anymore. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Local rider <laughs> here. What a close hit! I saw them doing some cool moves. Check the conditions. Like, I would guess there's more than 50 knots. It's so strong and so big waves. My hands, they're freezing. But I have a lot of fun. Do you know where I passed? You did. You won. I did pass. Ah, it was very close. Oh. We are Man, going so to cold. do the podium now. Well, they're not official podium, but. Small podium, no? Yeah, like uh, after heat podium to make clear who is the one who is second and so on. You got? 
And seeing the official results here we go back to the beach carlos kiefer looking like okay we're live now with uh, kiefer here from the beach he's in the u17 category uh, you just sailed out there how was it yeah i did it's actually a little a little bit too cold for me very gusty and hard to find waves but when you find one wave and you have the wind it's so fun and it's so nice i really like the spot oh great to hear yeah. as a headstone local uh, where's your home spot normally Gran Canaria, Pozo yeah. Izquierdo. Yeah. Okay. So it conditions very hardcore, like here, side on shore anyways? Well, when there's wind, it's same hard as here, but it's not as cold as cold that it is here. So I'm not used to this. Were you the man uh, rocking those double forwards out there? Now or in Pozo? Yeah. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw two, uh, two double forwards. Yes. Well done. That's pretty Thank radical you. action, yeah. Thank you, thank you. When did you do your first double forward? I was actually pretty young. Yeah. Uh, I think I was about 14. I did land it, but I had uh, this uh, one time where I didn't land anymore. And then I got them again. So right now I would say I it's a move I have in my pocket. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Are, are there anyone else in your age category that can do double forwards like that? Well, Rio is trying. He is ha trying really hard. I have not seen from him anyone like mine, but uh, yeah, I would count them as doubles. Are you afraid when you do double forwards? Nah, I was, but not now. Not really. Now. You're not afraid when nah. you pull the trigger. I'm afraid when when I when I'm in competition, yeah. sailing against these these young rippers. Ah, oh, so it's the competition that gives you fear, not even the fright of injury. Yes, yes. So. Um, you're going for a triple at some point in your career? I have thought about it. I have thought about it, but it's super hard. I think every, anyone can do it before me. Mark Paré, I, I really see him doing the triple. Yeah. Has he attempted? Have you seen any attempts from Mark Paré? From Mark, not, but from Philip Costa. He did attempt some. Yeah. But he never landed it, did he? Nah, nah. as far as I know, not. <laughs> How about the wave riding here? Do you find it fun too? Well, the wind direction is also weird for me because it's different than in Pozo. But when you, as I said, when you have a good wave, you can really do, do some good turns, four or five. It's really fun, really down the line, sick wave. Good to, good to surf and to do some tricks in the waves as well. Did you get to practice yesterday in the side offshore conditions? Nah, not yesterday, but on Friday. I arrived on Friday and I windsurfed and so I got a little bit used to the cold, but nah, not anymore. <laughs> okay. okay, we're going to head back to Ben. Thank you very much for the interview and uh, we'll see who wins on the podium. Thank you. See you guys.
So day three, when we woke up, under 17 and under 20 boys already finished the competition. So we slept everything we wanted to. And once we woke up, we went to play some golf with the friends. After this, we cooked some hamburgers. And went to Toby's house to jump a little bit in the trampoline and play some football. late in the afternoon we managed to score a very very fun win for the session very very late once we ended up it was already night so you can imagine how much fun we had pancake pros pancake pros here looking good oh yo 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 look at this i think we spent the late good. day right yeah. oh nine this is ending in the floor <laughs> Although we didn't want to leave, we had to make ourselves back to Gran Canaria, which means we had to drive again for two and a half hours and make a stopover at Madrid Airport. Man, this guy is crazy. You gonna do some doubles? Nah, bro, nah, 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 forget about it. He wants another one. And after Leon? It's you. It's me. Nah. Oh, yeah, probably. But I'm gonna wait. Because if I put these, they are wet. They are so cold. <laughs> and I have to wait for five minutes before my, my, my heat starts. Because I don't wanna freeze. Okay, guys. Nein. 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 Komm hier. Nein, weil ihr fällt nachher rein und dann habe ich...
Thanks for watching and see you next time.